Hey everyone, welcome back. We're back at this game again. Uh, I don't really remember what happened last time, but I think this was our latest CF. So yeah, we we're hiding out with Natsuki. It's already Sunday. I've been increase getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki up Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help that much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Good question. I doubt she will. It's not scary after all. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We've seen each other one. We seen e we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different personality on phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She does use that in her poems, so... She also really likes to complain about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside... I haven't heard a thing from Sarah since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other all, all the time or anything, but I'm worried about her in the back of my mind. But it didn't know what Sarah said and what Monica says. Is it really okay to put my feelings aside, Sayori's feelings aside, when she might meet me? So I had to visit Sayori before Natsuki came over. Rather than simply I tell her, rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reached Sayori's house, I'd knock on the door before entering it myself. It can't be displaced so often, but it's a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. House is quiet. Sayori is in there, room, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up when I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, hi. <clears throat> hi, crazy. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't, you haven't can't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. How much has really changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it's always been. Also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning up for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how do you know that? Sarah already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations. Right? Ah, uh, that's true. What about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sarah stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So. Sari smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, crazy. Eh? Why can't it just be like it all has been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been here even thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. 
but she wants to torture me. <laughs> sorry! Goes sorry by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. Sarah so gives me an empty smile. You really put me in the trap, crazy. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. I've just seen it for the first time. Seen what? What are you talking about, Sarah? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Crazy? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've really, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh shit! What? Did you know that? Why did you think I'm late to school every day? Sometimes I can't even get a re find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there doing anything when I fully know how worthless I am? You ain't worthless. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy in caring waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone happy. But I ain't worry one worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want this so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been straight as your close friend. I knew I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's no, so, only so much that I could do. I have tried a little bit hard to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Crazy. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it's, it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone and by happy together is the best thing for me. I just got something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. This feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, Dad, I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sarah. I don't need to un understand. What it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, crazy, there's nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, about that I could help it is if everyone could be like it all as was. I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sarah's face. I made you join the leadership club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart in a way that I couldn't understand. Now you came here and hurt and you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. So I'm going to accept these punishments. So I deserve every last one. That thinking, I once again grabbed Sarah's shoulders, pulled her into a tight embrace. <gasps> Crazy, Sari. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. Make friends with everyone else. That'll just, that then it's just a bonus. Please don't remember yet how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Crazy, Sarah isn't hugging me back. So my arms being wrapped around her, so his arms are running down her sides. So it's down next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Crazy, I... Spare Sari barely manages to speak to inner sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to care about. If you have it in you to call yourself something, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. If there's anything that you need to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sari puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of these, my feelings, Crazy. 
I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain, but your hooks are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sorry lets me go. She does, so I let her go as well. Festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Uh, um Ah It's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. This has to be one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you do that, I, I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. Do so you want me to come along and help out? It would be fun. To be a surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. Try my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. See you tomorrow, okay? Alright. Look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sarah right next to her house. <clears throat> On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. It's hard for me to think about the case about to come over, too. I think Sarah is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously waiting for Matsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me and then let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her such cute clothes makes the uniform really totally unfitted as any unfitting in comparison. <laughs> Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be like a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Shit, that's in my kitchen? Damn, I got a nice kitchen. I see you bought a lot of stuff. That's because I'm in a large product that's probably baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, that's a bunch of ingredients if I didn't have, or have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do that for your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuke some say that rather than saying something snarky like she usually does. <laughs> You really? She's a little different outside of school? Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, crazy? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I got a bag oh, Natsuki holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. You really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it sounds like I hate it. I mean, it sounds like proving people wrong when they own not come worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small enough. It's better than other people. But, jeez, never mind! What are you making me say? Don't make... Think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> but that's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you're gonna treat me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy <laughs> doesn't mean you should treat me like I, I... Natsuki catches her words in her judgment. <laughs> Natsuki? Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Huh? I wish that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking and you just know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh -huh. How do you knew that anyway? Just trust me on this one. <laughs> okay. 
gross. Hey, is that to me? Who else? Um, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. If I found your weakness, Casey. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Natsuki decides to dish out smells like this. There's no way I'm not coming back. She's satisfied enough for now. Finally, he's trying to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Alright. Before long, the whole kitchen's a mess. Soon as dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and the swags are strewed about every countertop. Mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once. I have to do it several times. Meanwhile, not to case BBC and all of my mood is to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Chrissy, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the over oven so I need to fill the trays. Mix is in the bag, bag next to the table. What are you using for? To color the batter, of course. I'm going to make each tray a different color. That's the way flavors aren't different. Everyone can still pick their treat. That's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! I'm not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. You know, I see her separate batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like, again, it's just about following instructions. Presentation where you get creative and have the most fun. It's almost a million times more worth it in the end, just like looking at it. It makes everyone's eyes light up. I like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat ships cupcakes and Sarah and Monica delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah. Maybe we'll use the food coloring then. Natsuki, sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish fixing the icing before you me you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We use we're using the electric mixer for the batter so I with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? That's just a little lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah, it just takes a little longer. Geez, I'll be here all night if you don't like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk for me and uses her hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, it's already improved. See? Except Natsuki sticks a finger and pops it in her mouth. Except to do the same. Hey! I want you to grab gross fingers in my icing. You're icing, eh? You're the one who did all the work. I'm right back trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. Don't make me beat at the crap out of you. I'd like to see you try. It was hard just... You know... The scoop. Ah. The force is... Gross. What was that? There's a big... <laughs> Natsuki's cheek. Mm. Jeez. What? Take this. Devil. Her finger toward my face? You... Oh my god. Better grab that one as well. Stop! Until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. Sorry for calling you gross. You know, I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me at all times, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. That's so. This guy's not going to do this either. Put it in my. I got the egg. What? What? Oh my god. What? Did you seriously just... That's the case that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Mizzy, you really shouldn't do this unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn this to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. Shallow bri- Why am I starting to feel- Eh? I don't know. Parts going off. 
cupcakes over the oven. Something burning. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes. No wonder. Try in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. We grab the blackened tray out of the oven. Sets on top of the stove. And the fire alarm stops. Anyway. I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment still lingers over our heads. <laughs> but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cup to trays in the oven. And then I reduction and pick up the whisk and give the gas and like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells good. Cupcakes are ready to pull out of the oven. Soon as Natsuki opens the door, a glass of sweet smelling and warm air fills the room. How cute they all look. Charlie shows up the different colored cupcakes in each of her trays. Look even better once we've had the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I bought decorating stuff so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. I'll have these nozzles that will have that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. Probably won't be using it this time now. What's this one for? Pick it up that has a much thinner tip than the others. That's one really sounds you can make stripes or other patterns. You can also reuse it to write stuff on the cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. Got an idea actually, eh? Well it's a leisure event, right? We can make it more leisure thing by writing a different word on each cupcake. I'm gonna see people choose their whatever they like. Uh, hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. That's actually a really cute idea, so <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What? That's supposed to mean. I'm not cute. Come on. Not school anymore. Nobody's judging. You can't dress an act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well. That's good voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No. Nothing. Let's just do the icing. That's the picks up the base and fasten it now onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. That gave me a chance to think about it before Natsuki quickly moves on. She moves to help me apply the end, that then we get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all aside by... Look at how pretty they are! Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. For some reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in it. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner, so I ne really need to see if my appetite. <laughs> so is the ex is in that regard? She was here. We'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. Be silly dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. When my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we'd have time for mango, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, oh, really? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. If you had thought about that, it's not like you'll always have this chance. Yeah. That's news. Not to keep places, then blame them on me. Bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sarah each carry some, then you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I could do that. Don't worry about it, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listened to you. Huh? Yeah. I can't think I have a Sarah earlier today. So helpless. I was to listen to me, but that point felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. She's like, ah, that's is already. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash, more than that. I didn't take the pick up the like I wanted. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. See you tomorrow. Wait, not so great, eh? What do you say about not always having this chance? This is not the be all of I had fun today. Show me how the bacon could be, like you wanted. Some of that. You come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. I want to read my or so go out some- Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me, and then she looks it's her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Crazy. Why do you want to care about getting this done? Uh, I'm sorry, I had to leave so early. I really didn't want to. I would have really to say it if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Whoa! Hello. Wait, Natsuki. Silence. Natsuki looks at me. He was getting as if holding on to me. And her slightly parted. What is happening? Just to go and say, it's against me. I felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori? Huh? Oh, hi, Sayori. 
Hi, Crazy. Say hurry! Just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Crazy. Saying hi. Uh, well, should have come a little earlier. We went so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'm still seeing you at this fast tomorrow, so it's fine. There's only any copper to explore then. Hey, later. Very flustered. Natsukara's on Zeri waves goodbye. Zeri? You didn't want to come over to there. Well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really being really mean to me, so I had to come over and see it. So, see what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. How close you got to her. Makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sarah's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, crazy? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? So much. Everything hurts so much. This would be better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, crazy. If I wasn't here, then we wouldn't have wasted your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to wait. put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did she say? Pause a second. What do you mean by Monica was right? Say... Monica? Monica was right about what? Say, Ori? What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like... Isn't a burn. Your mind is making it out to be. It's something that... Makes me happy. But sometimes I... Something I... That I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if... Takes an entire lifetime. I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel pain anymore. But Sarah so looks away, but on her shoulder reassure her. I'm scared, Grizzy. I'm really scared. Are really you scared of her? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me, Sarah. It's true, isn't it? So I can start to like you too much, and this did this to myself, Grizzy. So much that I want to die. What? That's how I feel, and and that's enough, Sari. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand and squeeze her hand on. Do you remember I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Trust me, sir, you know it's sound all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now. So I'm gonna give you. Oh, sh you'll always be my dearest. F I love you? What does I love you do? I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. There's no way you could treat me like... Mm, like you. I should have realized it sooner. Spend time with everyone at the club, like make friends, and having fun with you every day means that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, I decide that I know we'll both be happy. Where is he? Say wraps her arms around me. Where is he? Is this really okay? Yeah. And pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Crazy. I want you to be with you forever. Me too. So around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sarah? Just be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? Not going away at all, Crazy. It's okay, Sarah. It might take some time for things to get better, but. No matter how long it'll take, every step of the way, that's all that matters right now. Okay, I trust you. Sarah and I slowly release each other, so it makes the festival our first day, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as always. We really are a couple. I don't know if I could do anything even more right now. At least new and scary for me. I understand. Whatever suits you best. Sorry. Hey, crazy. Once to get sad, please smile. If I get sad, this is the best. You right? Eh? I don't understand what Sarah means by that. You seem that this is making you feel sad? I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. Well, that's what I want you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. I promise. I know that I love her and she loves me. 
much trouble to understand Sarah's feelings as she is. And comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be able to something more or something different. Don't mind until things are back. <coughs> and anything change? No. Sarah's the most important person to me. It takes to have a happy future with her. Right! I'm going to end this video here. So, I hope everyone enjoyed it today. Um. Oh, flip me. Uh, it was a good video, I have to admit. Cannot wait to see what happens next. And, yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Adio!